these are my observations on bipolar people. Now, I don't have as much experience with this disorder as others, but what I've noticed is that they've gone through a period of like severe depression or oppression, and they've balanced it out with manias and sinking. Manias and sinking. Now, they've trained their brain to do this. Um, it's just, you know that um, their mood is going to shift really fast and that they're going to cycle, essentially, because they've trained their brains to do this. Um, a common disorder that gets mixed up with it is borderline, and those that's more immature. So if people are like displaying immature emotions to situations, interpersonal relationships, whatever, you can say they're borderline, but do not discredit them because they will butcher themselves. There is nothing worse than a borderline suicidal person. Like those people need serious help because they will just rip themselves apart. My theory is that they don't really understand suicide, and that's why they do that. Um, and no, you're not hurting me by hurting yourself, but yes, I, I don't, yeah, no. Anyway, another thing that sometimes happens is that they have brain damage and it mimics a mental disorder when it's simply brain damage. Um, yeah, so you have to kind of look at those too. But if somebody runs into the ER and says, I'm God and knows where they are in space and time, you know almost every single time they're going to get diagnosed with bipolar. I'm Jesus! Yes, it's okay, you're bipolar. Yeah, it's okay grandiose delusions and stuff. You'll find that they don't sleep and eat, so they have hallucinations and stuff like that. Um, yeah, they're, they're colorful. 